Alright, good evening guys. We've been down here for two or three days. Like I say, we're not going to keep... There's not as much action on the machines and... You know, I'm pretty lucky, but you can't keep being lucky all the time. It's not reality, so... Just bear that in mind when you're watching these videos. And because I live up the road, I can just go little and often. I don't have to bring two or three hundred quid down and go for a 50, 20, 30 mile travel. Take, what the hell's that in the sky? strange I'm actually I'm, I think we're walking down here because I don't think that's a roof it could be a roof for somebody with some Christmas lights on but I've never seen that there before but is it Christmas lights it's probably Christmas lights or something um, I saw something out here flashing the other night but it, it was really windy when it stormed me and I was like I, I don't really think Actually, from here one night, we saw these boomerang things right up in the sky. Um, 1998, I think it was, boomerang things, and they, they saw, first of all, they looked like stars, and then I said, no, there's a couple actually, they're always looking to the sky anyway. And uh, me, Mr. P, Enos, the chap that works in there, my mate Kez, and uh, another mate, Paddy, Patty, little Patty, going back to the late 90s here um, and we'd walked our mate I'd got my German Shepherd as well at the time Basil we walked up to around here and we actually said sod this we're going back we got down to over there over on that prop. hello buddy how you doing and um, we actually legged it back to the pit house which is near where the so two o'clock in the morning till nearly six o'clock in the morning when it started getting light but these boomerangs they gathered way up in the straps they were all in, a, all in a group then they would flicker and flash and disappear and appear right over the other side right over the other side of the sky in a millisecond because to start with we were like oh they're disappearing now and there was about six or seven at one point five plus from there and sort of to these up here, point out to the sea there. I should have explained it in the day, but anyway, that was the time I saw something that I've never seen since or cannot explain. So, um, I'm quite open to all of that. And there's a lot of stuff that goes on down here, anyway, because we've got quite a lot of military stuff and bases and radar stations and stuff down here. Right, hang on then, there's nobody in here. Oh, my mate there, you probably want to put a thumb up. You want to put the YouTube thumb up? Oh, um, right, Mr. P, I was just telling these guys, I've got the camera face down there, but the night me, you, Kes and Patty walked back along the prom and we literally said, are you all safe to walk home? And those things were in the sky. And we sat and watched them for the rest of the night. Right. Do you, rem you must remember that. I can sort of remember, not properly, though. Oh, we can't properly. Do you, we got to about over there. We had Basil with us. It was me. Kez, Patty, and you said it's Venus, and of course normally it was, wasn't it? Yeah. It was always Venus, but this bloody particular night, and the next day it was on the radio and everything, wasn't it? Anyway, I'm going in to see, because we've not been down for, well, about three days, I think. Oh no, the 500's gone on the rainbow, my lovelies. Sorry, I've got the bloody camera zoomed right in. <laughs> But 
anyway, whatever you know, I don't, I don't need to ask anybody anything. I don't need to know anything, and nobody tells you anything from the staff anyway. But other people, I can just put a few quid in, see what it's looking like, play it or not play it, and it'll often, like I say, is uh, how we roll. So these pots, this bron- uh, bronze had gone again. I don't think this has been played much. Or has it? I don't know. I'd have to look on the old video, but I'm not that bothered because I don't put enough in to worry about that sort of thing. Oh, we might go a five reach in the mega slots if Jim's open. Oh my gosh, guys, if it had, that would be ridiculous if it had. I mean, you. Especially if you give it gold. I've had. Uh, that's not the same spins that somebody said I was mad at. That similar spins. These are different than whatever. I know what the pattern was of the other, the other ones, the other two machines. Similar spins, not exactly the same. Um, yeah, four pots in three weeks for less than the amount of twenty quid going in, and three of them were gold. So that is storming it, isn't it? So you can't keep going like that. That's why you give it a break. I mean, there's not much, so much action going on a couple of weeks before Christmas either. So I stick to my lucky machines because they're lucky for me. So I'm not going to change that. And they're popular machines. They get played a bit. I don't think this has been played. Oh, he dropped just off. Hey, hang on a minute. Right, I think that's worth another fiver. Right, okay, I don't think it's going to do it now, but I had to give it that little shot because of that. Uh, yeah, there he is, the go after. I don't think, uh, I think it's going to miss its um, deadline. I'll put another two or three quid in just, just in case. But yeah, it was going to be then on that on that ding ding if it was going to do it. <gasps> I don't know, you know. Could have done with the tenor coming in, you see. When, when they... And that's also another. Let me put the other two in just because they're in my hand. But I don't. I think it's um. Hang on. If I've got a credit to change here, we're putting this in. All right. We didn't have any change, but we had a five pound note. See what I mean? I think that's the after. That's an after a feature mode. Yeah, not any more. That's how they get you. Right, we've changed another tenor. We're just going to go three in this rainbow. about 20, 20 odd quid in loss at the minute. I'll put three or four in here and just take the tenor out. I might put a couple in the poker. I've not played it a lot lately. Like I say, the more, the more action there is and the busier times of the year, the more I can play things. As I'm sure you realise. Right, we still haven't had a pot on 50p on Rainbow, but we did do the Rocky a few months ago. Oh, 
quite a free quid in here then, guys, for the poker crew. And I'm sort of sorry to say Merry Christmas to everybody as well, at the start, but I will put a post up and a couple of things, and what I think are a couple of funny videos. Why can't I just fucking... Just pick what I want to do. Somebody's scratched the hell out of it there. There's a awful. There's a really nasty scratch there. Um, well, um, if I just can't do what I want to do, I'm not going to play it, guys. So, right, fuck that. Oh, it actually gave me all my money back. It also <laughs> pays out flies. Ah, oh, rise of the reels. Put the three quid in there because I've only paid that about six times, and four times I've had all sorts of shit going on. What about the Batman the other night? First credit on a Batman playing it ever. We got ten spins, twenty nine quid. But we were on fire that night. They weren't there. The machines were on fire. Christ, everything I touched just was crazy. You see that you don't get, you can't get sessions like that all the time. But they happen here and there. That's why you just got to ease off when you get a session like it. Right, it doesn't look like there's any... Oh, if it had been 50p, I would have gambled it, but I should collect it and get a bloody feature with it. <gasps> he didn't light up his bloody sword then, did he? I sort of know what this... Yeah, 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 wild thing. Baby, I love you. We're off now, guys. Uh, for the new subscribers, this is Hobart's Amusement. There's nobody in here, so I might as well bloody do you a little mini-vlog. Herbert, Herbie, Herbert, Herbert, Herbie. Yeah, hi, Herbie, I call him. Herbie, J, the crew, Chris, all you guys. Guy seven, seven, seven. Check out those guys as well. Jay's got a T7 in as well. Now you can watch. So give his channel a look up. J777 slots. Oh, welcome to a couple of new subscribers as well. I'll give you a couple of shout outs as well. Um, another chap has got a channel going, so I'll give you a shout as well at some point. And uh, busy as always. <laughs> right then. Okay, so... We, oh, hang on. I need to get two £5 notes off him. Because Jim's bloody machines. Hang on. I've been loving that DJ Seduction tune. Oh, it sounds like it was made back in the day, but it's... Um, I think it's... <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Pot of Gold Amusements is shut. And it's only just about 8 o'clock in the evening. But he has left his TV on. I hope he has a license for it. Mind you, there's probably less repeats on that than what there is on the BBC. Any of you that are tripping out? A bit of acid? Do, do, do. Stay. Oh, yeah, we'll have that. Yeah, for people that don't live near the arcades. I mean, living near the arcade if you've got a problem is bad, but living near the arcade if you've got a little thing to do um, is okay. And often for me, seems proper. Watch the four videos. Well, watch the last few weeks of videos. Um, we've won in the last few weeks what we're normally up at the end of summer, so we did have sort of a lag, a lagging summer, really, I'd call it. It was a lagging summer, a bit like Rainbow Riches go before it's going to give Uncle Jossie a pot when he knows it's coming in almost. I wasn't really coming here, I was going to the pot of gold, but uh, it's like he was shut and you're open. They're still open here at the carousel, come on. Make it, make it. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Make it really exciting and it's really like there's loads of noise and. Mind you guys, it'll be busy at the weekend and it'll be packed at Christmas. We've got people in the all cash area. Right. Hang on then, press pause because I don't want to get people in it. Right, it's only been a quid in here. Everything's busy that I've been playing here. Well, not necessarily the games I'll be on, but the uh, what's it? So, um, so that is actually the end of the gamble, guys. And we lost about twenty quid anyway, so I'm quite happy to keep uh, the nice lot of pan coins.
surely it is Christmas, but these machines are going to be dead as shit, so I'm not putting a pound in each. Do you know what? It's Christmas. Put a pound in each. No, I'd be better off putting in this party times. Hang on. So leave that one spinning. Let's get the money in here. I'm going to put two quid in each party time. I've got just as much odds. Well, it's more worth me putting the money in here than there. At the moment. Place your bets. I don't want to play that. Somebody's on roulette. What? Get the hell out of here. We're not doing that. That's one thing. Unless there's free money in there. Unless there's free money in it, guys. You don't see roulette on this channel. But we were actually about... We've had two lots of zeros come in for the money that's been in there. So... We're about £7 something up. £10.20, is it? £7.20 up on the roulette this year. Two zeros come in. Um, right, two quid in this one. I'm going to have to get a £5 to change in. Oh no, I've got two quid in each of them, so that's fine. It's brilliant. So go 50p on all of them, shall we? Don't need to be greedy, do we? Never chase either, guys. Never chase your money. I never need to chase my money because I don't have to put enough in to chase it. The only time I do put any substantial amount of money in, or have done in the last few years, is when I've gone out with somebody. Most times it's paid off out of about 20 times, but three times there was a couple hundred quid each. 130 quid each. I lost 160 with somebody each. But then they won it the next day on something, and I got the bloody silver pot a couple of days later for nothing. So, But, uh, my Christ. We've got three, three lots of... I got three lots of picks, and all of them were one. Is that fucking crazy, or what? What the hell? Well, I got four quid on that one. That was ridiculous. You're not having me like that, you little shits. I know what they're planning. Right. Auto, oh for fuck's sake, piss off. What's he doing? Sorry guys, I zoomed out of that one. Fucking start, that's why they're not fucking going. is the end of your video guys. Must have to get me back. It's off to Tesco, see if there's any bargains. Cheers boys, Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas guys! Merry Christmas, Look at these guys here. Whoa, these are loyal subscribers to the YouTube channel! <laughs> We're loyal to you, Justin. I haven't seen one message from either of them. Or you, Chris.